and welcome everyone. I'm Melody, an interactive engineer at TikTok. Sitting next to me is Garrett. Hi, what's up? My name is Garrett, and I'm also an interactive engineer at TikTok. I'm really excited for this awesome session today. Yeah, me too. I'm so excited. So for today's section, uh, we're going to discuss about templates, what they are and how to use them, and how they can help to speed up the process and enhance the overall quality of the effects you create. So Garrett, can you explain to our audience what uh, the templates are? Of course. I, well, I'm pretty sure many of you are already familiar, but uh, for those who aren't, templates are a fantastic way to kickstart your effect creation. Essentially, templates are like building blocks that you can use and combine in, in various ways. And Effect House offers a variety of templates, which are a great starting point for any creation. Wow, sounds exciting. So can you show our audience where to find these templates? Absolutely. It's pretty straightforward. You just open Effect House right here, mm -hmm. and you'll see many templates right here on the home screen. Oh, is that all of them? Uh, not really. There's a lot more. If you select templates on the left side of Effect House mm -hmm. here, you'll find templates organized by category. Categories like face, their screen, body, and more. Yes, as Garrett mentioned, these templates are really fantastic starting point. I recommend exploring them to find one that aligns with your idea. Mm, but which one should we choose for showcase today? I'd say let's go with this one, the Peekaboo template. Ah, sounds scary a little bit. <laughs> it's actually pretty fun and cute and very customizable, so it's perfect. Okay, I feel better. Let's try. Okay, now that the template is open, let's see how it works. Melly, do you want to test it out? Uh, yeah, sure. Let me see. Oh, it's so cute and a little bit scary. <laughs> I love it. Now look at, look at the ghost on your shoulder. Wow, where did it go? Oh, okay, it's on my shoulder. Wow, such a fun effect. <laughs> So Gary, can you explain how to use this template in general? Certainly. You know, Effect House might seem overwhelming with so many options, but each template comes with a guide that details its workings. So in the hierarchy panel right here, you'll see a tip under this render node. And by examining this, you'll learn just how to adjust this template. So in this example, you see where it says 1, replace ghost texture. So let's try that first. Sure. Okay. So I've already prepared a texture and I'm going to import it in the Assets panel. Awesome. And quick tip here. So to import any asset into Effect House, just simply drag and drop into Assets panel. Yes, exactly. So now that I have the texture here in the Asset panel, I'll find the ghost and swap out the texture. So in the Hierarchy panel here on the left, I'm going to locate the ghost object. So here it is. Mm -hmm. And then in the Inspector panel, I'm going to click on Texture and choose the newly imported texture. Wait, is that my face? <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, just a little joke. But jokes aside, the asset library offers fantastic assets to use in your effect. Ah, I totally agree with that. Can you also show how to find our asset library? Of course. So at the top here, you're just going to click on the asset library button, and you'll see a new window pop up where you can select on any of these category of assets. In our case, it's this category, 2D. Mm -hmm. And I'll select this tiny talk evil, and I'm going to import it. Then, I'll quickly replace the current asset. Wow, that was swift. Absolutely. As mentioned, templates accelerate effect creation. With high quality assets from the asset library, creating trending effects is a breeze. Yep, but don't get too ahead of yourself. So effects usually need polishing and further customization. So could you show us how can we modify the interactions to make it more personalized? Certainly. So let's look at the next tip in the hierarchy. It says two, edit subgraph settings. Mm -hmm. So just so you know, a subgraph is a way of grouping a set of operations or nodes into a single high level node. Now this abstraction reduces complexity and keeps the main graph organized. It ensures that only tweakable parameters are visible to our users. And you can find the visual scripting panel right here. Okay, cool. As Gary pointed out, there are plenty of options to customize to your vision. Absolutely. For instance, I can adjust the circular hover radius to a value greater than 2. Uh, this allows for a broader movement radius. There's other things you can tweak here too, such as enabling the shoulder switching or even the attachment point. Cool. Any additional tips on template usage? Well, I have many, but given our time restraints, here's just one more. In the hierarchy panel, some object names include brackets. Mm. 
and these indicate tweakable actions like edit. For instance, you might find bright LUT filter edit. And you can select it and modify its parameters or choose post effects edit to add your touch. Impressive, Garrett. You are really an effect wizard. <laughs> well, thanks. But with templates, anyone can be an effect wizard and gain fame on TikTok. I have also crafted many effects. Want to see my skills? Of course. I'm looking forward to it. Have you been thinking of making an effect that has customer transition just like a movie? Yes. Yeah, so with our customer transition template, you can do that. Okay. So with the template open, we can first take a look at it and see how we can use it. You see, we have four groups in the hierarchy. You know, every template we provide a tips group that will help you to understand how to use the effect and how to customize it. And because I am here, so I will be your live tips here. So that's why we can skip this part for now. And uh, let's move to the next group. Um, we have scene one, scene two, and the final render group. So the logic behind it is everything we set up in scene one will actually be draw on a texture called like a render texture scene one. And scene two, it will be draw on the scene two render texture. So then we will use the customer material to design the transition visual effects and use the visual scripting part to control the transition progress. And the final result will be shown on this transition material render texture. And this is in the final render group. And don't worry about this part. We have already packaged all the complex part for you. Okay, good. Okay. Uh, so once we understand the logic, let's dive into the visual scripting parts and see what we can customize in the interaction setting. By default, um, the effect is when you tap the screen, it will kick off this slight effect transition from top to bottom. And if you keep tapping, it will do this cool ping pong loop. Pretty neat, right? Yeah. And you will get a bunch of spots that you can make it your own. So firstly, if we customize the, the triggers part, you see uh, the tap on screen is selected. But what if we wanted to try some like uh, uh, triggers, blink your eyes, right? Mm. So here, we just need to check the box next to the trigger you wanted. Uh, and then click restart and refresh the preview. And check out the effect. Blink your eyes and it will trigger that effect. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> cool, okay, good try. So what's next? Um, the transition style, right? So we actually prepared like a 10 transition styles for you to play with. If you go to this transition controller subgraph and uh, find the property transition style. So trying to type any numbers from zero to nine and uh, each one will represent a typical transition style we prepared for you. And you can find the corresponding transition style material under this material folder in SS panel. Yeah, we have like a slide styles, zebra, like a circle and a ripple and center, all the things you can name it, yeah. Uh, besides transition style, we also trying to give your customization freedom as much as possible. So here you can see, you can play with the transition time the way of looping or the direction of the transition, right? So with all the property settings, you will have the magic power to design the scene transition logic very quickly. Uh, once we know how to customize the transition, let's make some design for our scenes. So here, we prepared a transition effect between Angel and the Devil's look. And uh, we have already set up the two things to save some time, but all the assets you can uh, finding them in our assets library. Mm. Okay, since the things are ready, let's customize the transition we want. I think the circle fade would be nice for yeah. this one, right? So let me type the number nine transition and let's use mouse open to trigger the transition. Okay, cool, everything's ready. Let's refresh it and try. Open my mouse and you see, there wow. is a transition. That's amazing. <laughs> we did it. Melody, I'll say you're pretty awesome at making effects too. But as you can see, using templates to create effects is a breeze and it's super fun. 
not only easy and fun, but it's also incredibly quick to bring your ideas to life. Yeah, and with the asset library, you don't need to be an artist to have assets. Just search for your vision and you'll likely find a fitting asset. So for those who are waiting to deep dive into templates and effect house, we have comprehensive documentation for each template on our website. Just visit effecthouse.tiktok.com and click on the Learn tab. This section will offer plenty of information to guide you there. And don't forget, Melody and other TikTok experts host a weekly live stream sharing tips and tricks on using Effect House. Join us for these insightful sessions. We hope you found this session valuable. Using templates, you can easily and quickly design amazing effects, get creative, and surprise us with your talents. But we are already so impressed to see so many amazing effects made with Effect House templates. TikTok awaits your creativity. Unleash it with the power of templates. And we look forward to seeing your amazing effects. And thank you all for joining us today. Until next time, keep creating. Bye everyone, see you in the next session. Bye.